Every fall, kids around the country gear up for youth football. Outfitted with helmets, pads, cleats, and a love for the U.S.'s most popular sport, they head to the gridiron to go to battle. In California, that annual tradition could come to an end as California lawmakers consider the nation's first statewide ban on tackle football for kids 12 and under. But they've come up against a strong defense. California Governor Gavin Newsom vowed this week he would not sign such a ban. The proposal would gradually ban tackle football for youth by 2029. Kevin McCarty, a California Assembly member who introduced the bill, says this would help save children from brain injuries and trauma. I've been looking at this issue on concussions and CTE for a number of years and just think we owe it to ourselves to protect um, kids in California. And year after year, the more we know, just youth tackle football doesn't make sense for little kids' brains. Though Newsom shared concerns about the health and safety of young athletes, he said an outright ban was not the solution, telling Politico, my administration will work with the legislature and the bill's author to strengthen safety in youth football, while ensuring parents have the freedom to decide which sports are most appropriate for their children. Newsom previously signed a law restricting full contact practices for youth football teams. The law limits full contact practices to 30 minutes per day, two days a week, and prohibits them during the offseason. Those repetitive head injuries are damaging to the brains of young children, and they don't see it when they're five, six, seven, and eight. They're thinking about the love of the game, which is it's very exciting and thrilling. Concerns about brain injuries and in tackle football may be linked to a decline in participation. California experienced an 18% drop in high school football players from 2015 to 2022, according to a California Interscholastic Federation survey.